video that we need a trademark on that we need a trademark on that because yeah. everybody is saying that's the most enthusiastic how we doing today everybody and it just gets people excited yeah what about a t-shirt that says how we doing today everybody exclamation points trademark andy I would do that. We should. Yeah. Anyway, we're back. We're here. Um, we got ourselves a great video today. We've got a shop life slash tech tip slash how we doing, everybody. Let's dig into a Mercury 250 Pro XS power head to a point of what you see behind me. That's where it's going to end up. But that's what we have for you today. So if you're ready, sit back, relax. I hope you ate everything you needed to for Christmas. Hope you got all the gifts you needed. Maybe you're just going to open up one last one and listen to me wrap on this video so here it comes right now so we got a power head that the customer essentially it laid down he's repowering with the 250xs suzuki um and we got it sitting behind me here and it basically is we're gonna tear it down for insurance purposes and for you guys essentially uh, we're just going to take this all the top stuff off, take the pulley off, the belt off, compressor off, flywheel off, front off, and then we'll go to the next stage. Talk about bagging stuff. Yeah, it's everything we do here, we bag. So we bag everything per what we're doing. Me, I've done so many of these, I'll probably just bag all this top stuff into one bag. I would recommend if you've never done one, is individually bag per what you're doing. But I just I've done so many of these that it's like, I know where all these go, all these bolts go and everything. So. Same as oil lines, I would say, you're gonna want to uh, mark your oil lines if you've never done one. And just so you know, you can reference back on where they go because you, you'll get to a point where everything will be the same length, same everything, and uh, one, wrong, one wrong oil line and she's all done. Get the big dog out? Well, just, yeah. I can mess around with it, just get it over with. Get this stuff apart and get to the good stuff. That way we're not messing. We can stick to the little stuff when we need to. Eight to ten, from ten to eight, from eight to ten. For the top, there's your alternator. For me, I just like to leave the bolts in here because then they, I can just set it here on my cart like that. It just sits there. No washers underneath. We already put the one washer in here. So, so I was taught to undress power heads in bulk chunks. Um, it saves time, it keeps things together, there's less clips, less things that can go wrong. So essentially what I like to do is take them off in chunks. One, two, three, four at the most. Making sure you're bagging everything as you go. That's the way I was taught. That's the way I like to do it. 
The flywheel wasn't popped before we got to this point. It should have been popped over on the motor. It's kind of a requirement, but sometimes people here forget. So I'll have to pop that right here. So. Jackson got it taken off perfectly, got it all the way over my bench, and he fing didn't pop the flywheel. Neil, what's the number one rule when you pull a power head? Pop the flywheel. That was from Neil. That's all I had to say. Hey, my defense, I didn't know you were taking it all the way out. What's the number one rule when you pull a power head? Tell America that you fucked up. Well, you know, you nope, ain't gonna be say that it. stuck. Accountability, say nah. it. I fucked up. Well, complete teardown, yeah, I fucked it up. Is it stuck, stuck? Oh, I'm sure it's not fucking good. It should be. A plus, buddy. That's essentially all the parts for up top. Let me just give this the old twist. Banana peel bag. Bingo. Down there. A lot of belt material on this motor. She was slinging belt material like no tomorrow. Which was good. It's good for it. What's that furnace set at, Neil? I was gonna say it has not shut off. I wonder if it went to its own world again. It went to 69, 64. It's set at 69. It is set at 69? Yep. Okay. We're gonna uh, pop this flywheel by hand. No air. <clears throat> nice and tight. You ever seen one fly off? I have. I, I have. have seen what some of them look like. Brass hammer. Tapping it, not beating on it, tapping it. We'll see here. Jackson asked if it was tight. On there? Oh, Catholic. <clears throat> I had one on still tight one time that it it literally the top of the crank was junk. Just straight on the top of the crank. No. Yeah, yeah, because it wouldn't move. It would not move. How are the fuse the other side? Hmm? How are the fuse the other side? I don't know what happens up here. I don't know if it's harmonics or what starts to happen. Yeah. And this would be a simple thing that it ran harmonics and that has literally welded itself onto the crank because there's a breaking point there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it could sit, sit there and just yeah. make liquid fucking molten. Yeah. And what do you do then? You know what I mean? That's the only thing you can you can really think of that would do it was harmonics. Yeah, harmonics is a word that a lot of insurance companies don't understand. See, that shouldn't be that tight. I'm gonna wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. For me and you. Is that not the coolest thing you ever seen? Fucking, it's not moving. It's not moving. It's permanent. Permanently on there. That's why you pop them when they're over there. Because <laughs> it's not coming off. No, it's not coming off. 
It's glued together. It's freaking glued together. God damn it. <laughs> this shit together. Definitely not good. So, we'll leave some pressure on it, see what happens, tear down the rest of the engine, get it to a block with a flywheel on it, and we'll go from there. Yeah, after we get the top all off, then we go right to electrical on these Opti's that come off in a big chunk. You're able to get to the engine control module off, you're able to get the trim, the electrical, you're able to get the coat packs off, you're able to get everything off in one big bulk, and you're able to just take it off. Tell America what we're doing now. We're taking the electrical off now. We're gonna take all the electrical off and couple of chunks and move on to bigger and better things in life. Usually I'm not on this little creeper f***ing crustified stand thing that I'm on, but Jordan wanted America to be able to see this. We're doing it for America. Right, Jordan? Yep. What's your method of removing the electrical? For me? Yeah. Personally? Yeah. Bulk. Bulk chunks. Big chunks. Um, then it goes back together in big chunks. So that's kind of my little method of how I do it. I don't like the idea of taking piece by piece off. It's just, it just doesn't jive with how I like to do things. If this flywheel would have come off as planned, we'd have been in a better position. But it didn't, so you just adjust and keep going. All right, what, do we take? what just came off there? That? This is coil packs. Tell America. I just did. You told the coil packs that they were closed. That's coil pack. It's all the coils. Um, yeah. Show the camera. So then you're down to the fuel. After you get the electrical off, you get to the fuel. Fuel comes off in one big chunk, rails, uh, VST, couple hoses but essentially that comes off in one chunk also take your electrical bag that's right here like tying up a bread bag right like this all on your toes boom right there Because there's still fuel in there, but we still want to get too crazy. There it is. Now, since you're down to a plenum, a block, some small things, which is basically going to be like that. So, here's your, your fuel bag now. So, literally, we've got three parts off, three bags. Bingo. Now, <clears throat> me personally, I don't usually take the air injectors out of the heads until I go back to um, putting them back in. So, I don't get them cross mixed or whatever, I just leave them in their home. We've already been here for this, so take this off, which is our head. That can go here. This is for you. Have that. There you go. You didn't want to get dirty, did you? You said you gone home and told your wife you got dirty today. What would she have said? I'll get it out. I'll get it out. I'll take care of you, Jordan. My flywheel hasn't moved. Well, that's good for <laughs> now. <laughs> I'll get out of the way if it goes bang. You're, you'll be able to get out of the way? I've done it before. I mean, I literally had another one that was stuck on like a couple days later it decided to leave the leave building. so here's your wonderful world of internals yeah now you're on to the step four which is basically a plenum and some accessories so it'd be linkage um maybe some sensors that are left over plenum comes with the oil tank the oils with the plenum so it all comes off together that whole thing comes off in the front these oil lines are real brittle, crusty. Uh, I mean, if we were to rebuild this, it would need all new oil lines. Yeah, so we've seen it many times on these Opti's where the oil lines 
where they're zip tied, they literally just turn to crap. They get sticky, they get gooey. Sometimes they tear. Sometimes that's usually where we find holes in these. So if you guys out there with your Pro XS's, where your oil lines go up on, right, pad, right on your plenum, where those oil lines go on, or anywhere you see oil lines or research lines, make sure you're checking them because they do get bad. They're real crusty, glued on, terrible. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Find them. Bigchunk.com. That's there it. Is. As far as we can go until this thing decides to go ping on its own, um, it's stuck together. It doesn't want to come off. So, um, for any of you guys that are going to be like, oh, the washer's still in there, the washer's not in there. Trust me. I took the washer off. So, um, it's literally stuck together. Being that I can't get it apart, I can't really tell you what has failed. Um, it does look like that there's definitely stick on the side, but it doesn't look like your normal aluminum to steel transfer. It looks like steel to steel style transfer, so we could have bearing problems on this. Um, we could have anything going on crazy, but I can't get it apart to give you that. But when it pops, when I say when, it's going to hopefully, if not it's going to break. Um, we'll do a follow up so you guys can actually see the inside and we can get piston out and we can get it shown to you and see some of that stuff. So I hope you guys like this stuff. If you do like, comment on this. Comment you want more videos like this. We certainly can do more. Um, we're always tearing stuff down, always doing things inside the shop here. So we can always do some of that stuff. Um, but besides that, that's it. That's what we got for you on this video. Make sure you comment on it. Make sure you check the merch out. It's somewhere around here. Jordan always says it's up here. So it must be up here. So make sure you click on the merch. Make sure you go check that out. I know it's after the holidays, but you can always get yourself something for the new year of 2025 because it's going to come in hard. Um, and that's what I got. If you like, I said, if you like this style video, you like these teardown videos, you like that kind of show, you know, show how that comes apart. La di da di da. I'm not gonna be the one to tell you to go do it yourself, and I'm not gonna be the guy that's gonna be the instructional video guy on YouTube because I feel you always should relate back to your shops. Always should relate getting it to your your authorized dealer or something along those lines so they can get a look at their stuff. Um, but as always, you know, comment on this, comment what you think. If you like these kind of videos, we can certainly do more. Um, they're kind of fun. They're, they get us out there and get us tearing stuff apart. So I hope you had a great holiday season. I hope the first was good to you, and I hope the new year is great to you. Um, and you guys have been great to us. We can't thank you enough for your support, your changing of how this thing went down, how we do this. And uh, Jordan and I, everybody here, everybody behind the scenes that, that, that does this YouTube channel, we can't thank you enough. Um, to everybody on the podcast all year that invited us out, we thank you. We thank you for inviting us. Uh, product review people, we thank you. Um, we just thank everybody that keeps pushing this this YouTube channel that I don't think Jordan and I thought would ever get to where we're at, but it got there. So um, we're ready for it. 2025 is going to be great, and um, here we go. As always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I hope everybody in the new year is going to scream even louder. Speed, money. No breaks. I'm out. See you!